Hello, this is Vern, and if you're interested in finding out how you can become instantly more attractive, wanted, and valuable as a woman, stick around, because in my episode, I'm gonna share with you the number one tool that you can step into today to start getting this result. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I am excited today because I'm going to be sharing right now one specific skill that, if practiced, can today start giving you an immense leverage over other women, but also <laughs> against who you used to be in terms of being more attractive, more valuable, more more wanted as a woman, right? So the way this works is when I the reason I figure this out is when I connect with women from all walks of life and I ask them the question. What is the biggest hurdle that's preventing you from experiencing the level of love that you want today? The answer that I get is the number one challenge why most women don't have the result that they want in life in terms of love, and that is lack of self-awareness. When women usually answer this, they give me a superficial, high-level answer that is far from being the number one reason why they're not connecting it. So they can focus all their energy trying to fix this, but if that's not the main source of the difference between the life they have and the life they want, it's going to be very challenging for them to experience this. So here's what I mean. When I ask someone, what, a woman specifically, what is the biggest reason why you're not connecting with this? They'll give me something superficial such as the man in my city are not the right man for me. Or I'm doing everything I can and it's still not happening. Or uh, I have some level of fear, right? But without recognizing specifically what is a fear. Um, or something very generic that is not necessarily going to help them to break free and experience the love they want. So let me give you a hint basically right now so that you can start thinking for yourself because I want you to answer this question today. If you're watching my video today because I really want you to get this thing of being incredibly more attractive, more valuable, more wanted as a woman today, answer this question. What is the biggest reason that you're not getting the love you want? And I'll give you some hints. I'll give you probably like the top three uh, reasons why most women don't get the love they want. Number one, because they're not super connected to their self-worth and when they're not connected to their worth then they come across as less confident. And when they come across less confident, they feel less valuable in the eyes of a man. They also take a lot more crap from a man because they feel like if part of them feels like unless they take some of this, that they will be left alone. They will be left basically single, right? So that's not connecting to self-worth is one big reason. Another big reason is women who connect to their mind and through their mind more consistently instead of their heart which means when you connect to a guy, he doesn't feel that opening. He doesn't feel that longing to actually step in and become the guy that you want him to be, right? Because he's connecting to you from the level of mind, friend, body, instead of devotional love, which is what the heart creates. Because it's scary to open your heart. Another reason why women don't get this is many women are very scared of getting hurt again. They were, they were hurt at some point in their lives, maybe recently, maybe many years ago, and it was such a painful feeling that they've created blocks and a safe problem. The safe problem they've created is <laughs> they now only connect to guys who they know far in advance are not the biggest, biggest challenge to them. So whenever the guy says, hey, I'm not gonna make this happen, or the guy messes up in some way, it's not a, few, it's not a huge dropping off a cliff, right? Because uh, they weren't even that into it to begin with. So uh, some women are way too much into their masculine energy, which means when you connect from your masculine energy to connect to guys and you, you feel that lack of vulnerability, you feel that lack of needing someone, you feel that lack of allowing someone to do things for you and admiring a guy, right? When you enter a relationship from that rigid versus open space, again, it doesn't generate devotion. It doesn't generate a longing for someone to serve you. So those are real reasons why women don't get the love they want versus there's no men in my city, or uh, my ass is too big, right? I mean, like, those are superficial level reasons. The real reasons are more here, right? Along the lines of what I said. So if you answer the question, what is the biggest reason why I'm not getting what I want? That's step number one, becoming radically self-aware of what's the real reason. Second uh, step is, what the hell will you do this week, today, this month, to actually change and break free from the life that you want versus the life that you have. Because if you become self-aware, if you know that that's what you're dealing with, 
And I'm not asking you to come up with 10 things. One thing that's the biggest hurdle, if you just focus on that, that creates a significant breakthrough in your life and you're able to get this, right? So if you focus on that, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna read a book about this? Are you gonna take some coaching? Are you going to watch more videos? Are you going to practice in some way where you ask your friend to help you to connect with them from a heart open space and if they feel you're connecting from their head, they should basically slap you in the hand or something. Something that allows you to really break free in a practical way, okay? So that's step number two. Number three is you need to be able to measure this. You need to be able to come up basically three weeks from now, a month from now and say, okay, this is where I was. This is what I've been doing. Where am I right now? Am I, am I more heart open? Am I more self-aware? Am I more valuing my worth right now and how? Because if you've been practicing, if you've been doing things every single week, every single month, right, to do this, then you'll break free. But if you haven't, it's a good time to actually say, you know what, I have the intention, but I haven't really been doing it. So if you have accountability and honesty, then you will follow through. Does that make sense? So here's what I mean. Like if you just focus on that one thing that's preventing you from creating attraction, right? Whether that's a kind of self-worth or that's fear that you need to break free from, or whether that's masculine energy that's basically being bottled up in your body and you just need to break free and allow your feminine energy to radiate more fully, uh, or something along those lines, and you do something about it, you will instantly become more attractive and you will have always the ability to notice what's going on in your life and how to change it. Hope this makes sense. Uh, if, you, if you feel this is powerful, insightful, cool for you, I'm going to ask you right now to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, if you do nothing else, I'm hosting a live webinar, basically, and if you read the description of this video or on the bottom up here, you'll see a link where you can click on and just enter your email address there and you'll basically receive a free three-part blueprint to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. If you have any questions for me, place a comment below. Let me know what you think about this, what's your biggest challenge, what's your biggest hurdle, and how I can help you, okay? Thank you so much, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.